Hey everybody, welcome back to Sport Bike Menace. This is going to be part two of the bike rebuild for the Suzuki after the motorcycle accident. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. So I'm going to point out all the things that I got done. So new frame sliders, took the old ones off, put the new ones in. Uh, changed out the sprocket. I have a 520. Uh, 520 chain and sprocket, but I put an aluminum uh, 45 stock. It's 43, so I went up to on the rear. Uh, I checked the axle is not bent. There is no, it, there, there's nothing wrong with the axle. I looked at it, felt through the whole thing to see if it's straight. Uh, so there was nothing to tell me that it was damaged. I did change out the um, axle blocks. Because the one that was there was cracked, but it wasn't from the accident. It was just somebody just didn't do a good job. Uh, what else did I change? So I do have a Speedo healer inside here. I, they, I buttoned everything up. Also have the frame slider for this side. Also did the start and stop switch. That was a pain in the butt job. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see. It's running down there. But yeah, that was a pain in the ass. And it doesn't stick. So yeah, it's on and off. The reason why I put this one was so it can give me enough room to put a bar end inside there because the, the stock one was too wide and it was pushing my bar out too far. And a bar mount or yeah, bar mount wasn't gonna fit. Or bar end but with those pieces it was uh, it was a long day I started from 8 so I want to show you guys something that I had to put the ones that I had on first I had to put them back on but I want to show you guys why I had to do that so I'm afraid of uh, my pistons might be stuck for the rear brake and I'm going to show you guys why I, I say that. See if you guys can see the, there's a lip. There's a lip right here. And there's a lip. There's two lips right there. And on the rear is the same thing. I got lips. And then these were about to break. As you can see how thin they are. Plus they're bulged out. So they were about to just break snap and cause me an accident so I got lucky so I guess one bad luck brings another good luck so if I wasn't gonna get an accident uh, that day I would eventually got into an accident so always got to look at the positives but yeah I had to take that crap off now I gotta see if that piston is gonna still do what it's doing I compressed the piston back and re you know realigned everything so hopefully uh, da, da, da. hopefully that piston will retract so it's gonna be kind of hard to see if it does or doesn't but I'm gonna have to keep my eye on it if not then I'm gonna have to see if I can bleed the system out maybe that could work or clean it out and then put uh, lubrication on it again and see if that helps if not i'm gonna need a new caliper which i'm hoping not because that stuff ain't cheap but let me see i hope i got the key with me yeah i got the key so show you guys <sighs> i'm sorry i'm just so out of breath i've been working since eight in the morning and my body is beat so to show you guys the button so you guys already see and to turn it on, hold on. So, I'm still going to be using that to turn it on. The light still works. Now, I do got to see if the rear one works, which is going to be hard to see. But that's a separate light.
my brake lights. And I didn't want to mess that up because then the whole job is crap. So yeah. When you guys do this, make sure you guys have enough slack right here. Because when you turn the bar, you guys don't want this to hold the bar back. But since I made this kind of long, so I can adjust it. And like I said, and I already did the speedo uh, healer. The speedo healer is already uh, calibrated. So I'm going to ride the bike and do a review on how the bike runs with a 520 chain sprocket with. 45 in the rear uh, the stock is 43 so I think it's gonna be a wheelie machine which I'm not a big fan of because I want to race but yeah guys uh, there's gonna be another part because I'm gonna turn this off so you guys can hear me so yeah I'm just gonna be another part because I wasn't able to get the bar done so this part is still chewed up um, but to do that I have to lift up the front end and bring and take the tire off bring that shock down so the bar this bar can come off when this is down because if not I'm gonna have to take the triple tree off and I don't want to because I have this piece so I don't want to do that so I'm gonna have to bring down the shock but yeah it is what it is Monday I have the foot pegs coming in so I'll get new foot pegs and then the headlight will be in also Monday um, I also ordered a new um, Stator cover it's gonna be woodcraft because that's uh, kind of scratched up and I'm gonna try to make her look as new as possible I didn't get to paint this yet But I eventually get be able to you know when I get a chance I'll paint it uh, this I want to get the frame or the subframe powder coated, but I don't want to do that job To take all this crap off and to disassemble the swing arm I don't want to do that. Uh, that's too much work and my body's beat as it is um, I'm doing this with a fractured wrist um, And a bad back but to show you guys that I am dedicated not only to YouTube, but also to my bike I love my bike and there's no point of investing all this money into it and then having all these parts sit around and not do no work so yeah and I would like to get that exhaust powder coated black and red so it would be powder coated black and then the M4 and this piece right here would be powder coated red to just match the whole theme of the bike now the reds on this bike are everywhere so we have like burgundy kind of red here and this has like a different type of red uh, the hoses are a different type of red the oil uh, that's a whole different type of red the uh, brake lines are different type of red so there's reds everywhere but it is what it is I'm definitely gonna be taking these crap off these Chinese screws and then putting the factories one back on I have to order them when I get the new fairings and do everything the legit way and I'm also doing all this work done first before I get the fairings so I don't scratch up the new fairings as soon as they're on they're on I don't got to deal with the bike um, I'll do the oil change you know do everything I can before I put the new monster fairings on uh, and also do the uh, headlight do all of that first because I don't want to damage the new uh, monster fairings either so yeah, right, it's coming along though. But anyways guys, subscribe to the channel, put a like, put a comment, and you guys will catch me on the next video doing a review on the sprocket. So ride safe, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.